Hey, welcome to the Inkscape setup video. This is Ryan at GoFab CNC. This video is gonna go over getting your Inkscape set up for the very first time so that you can create G code to cut files on your GoFab CNC table. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up Inkscape and make sure that you have version 0.91. There's newer versions in 0.91, but the version we use and the version that we can help with and the version that we know works like it should is version 0.91. If you go with one of those new versions, you can get them to work. You have to do some tips and tricks that we don't really know, but you will notice that the scaling can get off. So if you're creating something and the scaling when you bring it onto the tablet is different than what you were looking at at Inkscape, make sure that you've got version 0.91, because if you do, that won't be an issue. So first thing we're gonna do, over here where it says extensions, we're gonna click that and go down to G-Code Tools. This is what you're gonna use to create all the G-Code. So you can design whatever you want, and when you're ready, you're gonna come to G-Code Tools to create the G-Code. But before we do anything, we wanna get it set up. So come down here to where it says Path to G-Code. That's gonna open up this window, click on Preferences. Right here is where you type in the name of the file that you want, and you can see I named this file .ngc. You can name the file whatever you want. Um, when it creates a G-Code file, it doesn't care about the extension, and when you open it up on the tablet, it's not gonna care either. Just make sure it's something that you recognize compared to other files you do. What's most important though is this section right here. This is where it's gonna create that file. And when you first open this up, it's gonna say something like home, something like that, whatever it is, it doesn't work. So we're gonna minimize this and we're gonna to go to our desktop, click anywhere. Don't click on where you already have icons, click somewhere out in the open. Right mouse click on it, go down to where it says new and then select folder. And you can see right here it created a folder and it's blue, meaning it's already selected the text and if I start typing, it types over that text. But let's say I accidentally clicked off of it and I want to change that. You can right mouse click on that folder. It'll bring up this menu. Go all the way down to the bottom right here where it says rename and it'll do the same thing. I'm going to call this G code. You can call it whatever you want. That's just what I'm calling it because it makes it easy. So once we create that folder and name it, we're going to go inside of that folder. And if you look right here, it says G code. This is where we are. If I click over in this empty space, it's gonna to change to the actual address, and that's what we want, and it's already selected it for us. If it's not selected, just click down in this open area with your mouse and drag it over like this so it selects it. When it's selected, hit that right mouse button again. It'll bring up this little menu, click on Copy. Now we'll go right back to Inkscape, and right here where it says Directory, we'll take all that stuff out, right mouse click in this section, and select Paste and then just hit close and that's it. So we are now set up right now to create G-code and anytime we come back into Inkscape, it's gonna create any of our G-code in that folder and that's where we'll find it. If you have any questions, just give us a call and we'll walk you through it and uh, check out the other videos that we have on Inkscape and also check out the forum on our website where we have a whole section for Inkscape as well as other design programs, thanks.